NASCAR championship, little three championship, national championship. An expectation of winning, I'd say, is really important, like a winning culture, which I think is pretty well implemented from last year to this year. And we're a team that's you know, been together for a few years now. It's definitely not the first phase of this team. Anything else is kind of not exactly seen as us accomplishing our goal. I have a lot of team goals for us this year, and especially on the defense. We have such a tight-knit group of people, and we work so hard together, and we want to be the best defense in the NESCAC this year. Taking practice seriously, taking you know, everything from scrimmages to, Ted usually says, like, from scrimmages to national championships, everything's the same approach. Just kind of taking every day, understanding it's important, getting better every day. Coach Rib is a really unique coach to play for, I think. Not only is he a great coach, but he's a great man. You know, he treats us with respect, and every day he brings it, you know, he never takes a day off. He's excited to be out here. To win for Coach Reba would be incredible, you know, obviously we want to win for our team, but for him especially, there's no greater man that deserves it. All year round, everyone knows his door's always open. He's there for us, whatever we need, coaching-wise. It's nice to go into battle knowing that we have Coach Reba on our side. His ability to connect with his players make you want to win not only for your team but also for him is very rare. He's a fantastic coach. He really develops boys and turns them into men. And he does that routinely and everyone who comes through here will say the same thing. We have incredible tradition here. Uh, we're so proud of the people who come before us and we always try to emulate the success that they had. And then he also encourages us to be different and to embrace our unique qualities and he's allowed us to do that this year, which is gonna let us go to the next level. Let's take care of it, let's go. Bad guys on three. One, two, three. Bad guys. Being a student athlete at Wesleyan, you know, it's a challenge, you know, but it's also a privilege, all the guys will tell you that. You know, it's it's fun, but you know, it's also a job. You know, you wake up every morning and you know that you're gonna have to go grind. You know, you're gonna have to go to class, you're gonna have to get your work done, and then you're gonna have to show up to practice, you know, with a clear mind, with a clear head, you know, ready to you know, play your best game and then ready to lead a team. Best of the best in Division Three, and every single game we play is so competitive. Every game's going down to the wire. There's no off week. There's no really trap games because every single game is, you know, a team that you're really, really studying for. You've really just got to have the grit, you know, to put your nose down, you know, not pay attention to the scoreboard. Always treat the game like it's zero-zero. Just play our game, you know, not worry about what the opponent's doing, and just be able to ride the highs and you know deal with the lows. The idea of, of developing the swagger of, of winning and how we can't be afraid of greatness. I think a very big thing for us is to just focus on the next day. Trust your teammates, trust your coaching staff, and trust yourself that the hard preparation that you put in is going to pay off in the end, one step at a time. Yeah.